Welcome to our workshop this evening. We're excited to be sharing with you about our favorite resources. I think you're going to find this evening really um, educational. And I know that even our doulas are really excited to hear what each other have to say tonight as well. Um, to start, just to give you an idea of how the evening is going to go, you're going to meet all the doulas that are here this evening. They're going to share a little bit about their favorite resources. There's options to ask some questions at the end and ultimately in the breakout rooms. So please put in the chat um, if you'll be staying for the breakout rooms so that we can get those organized and going quickly after the presentation. Um, and then we'll do the breakout rooms as soon as we finish the presentation. And I'm going to start and I am Amanda Kennedy. I am a birth and postpartum doula with Helping Hands Doula. And one of my favorite resources that I find I'm sharing almost consistently across the board with either with birth clients and postpartum clients um, is professionals who support body work. So that can be for um, the birth parent and it can also be for your newborn. So some examples of body work professionals are pelvic floor physiotherapists, um, obviously more focused on supporting um, the birth parent, <laughs> but very helpful and getting our little ones here in an efficient and um, hopefully more comfortable way. Um, another professional that I really love recommending is an osteopath. An osteopath is someone who does gentle manipulation with birth parent or with newborns. Um, excuse my dogs, they love to interact tonight as well. Um, with newborns though, I find osteopaths really helpful in helping with um, alleviating some discomfort from after birth, um, really help with feeding and getting comfortable with that, um, and just balancing out um, their body systems. A couple other bodywork professionals are chiropractors, um, cranial sacral therapists, all do similar types of things. And one of the great things about having a doula on your team is that, especially a helping hands doula, is that we have those resources available in our office and can share them with you that are recommended resources from other clients that we've supported and people that we have interacted with. So we really love sharing those resources with our clients and find them really helpful. Next doula sharing with you this evening is Carla, and she is postpartum doula on our team as well. Hi, uh, good to see everybody here. Um, yeah, so I am a postpartum doula, did birth work in the in the past, but focusing on postpartum now. Uh, and I think one of the resources that I love the most and that I talk to almost all my families about uh, is the happiest baby on the block. So he's got the, the five S's, um, which are all about helping you to settle and soothe your baby and hopefully get them to sleep so that you can get some more sleep and everybody can be happier. Um, since it first appeared, which was many years ago when I mine were little, I remember using this resource for myself. It's now kind of branched out and it's become this whole big marketing machine and he's got all sorts of other stuff that goes along with it. But I find the core, that book, you can find it online, the five S's uh, is really good because not only does it just say, okay, well, you need to do this, this and this, it gives you the science behind it and the neurology and, and all of those different things behind it so you can really sort of understand how this is helping your baby and you know if it's not quite doing the trick for your baby then you can tweak it to make it make it fit and, and make it suitable for you so um, I think it's yeah it's a great tool to have in your kit as uh, as a new parent and hopefully uh, everybody will uh, will find that as well and I am happy to pass it along to Heidi. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming this evening. I am uh, happy to share one of my favorite resources, which is uh, La Leche League Canada. And I wasn't sure, but I'm going to put this up. I don't know if you can see my screen, but I wanted to just show you how it's spelled. So it's La Leche League Canada. And the website is llc.ca. It's kind of an unusual name. Maybe some of you have heard about it, maybe not. <laughs> it's a really interesting organization that was started 
almost 70 years ago by a group of seven mothers in Illinois who were breastfeeding their babies miraculously at a time when everybody else was formula feeding because after the war, that was a big push. So these seven women found that they didn't have a lot of resources and other women were coming to them and saying, how do you do that? Can you teach me? Can you help me? And so they started this cool organization that has grown into an international um, group that whole focus is to support breast and chest feeding around the world. And La Leche League Canada is an affiliate of that gigantic organization too now. And what, um, what their philosophy is, is that parenting through breast or chest feeding is the most natural and effective way to understand and satisfy the needs of your infant. Um, that's sort of their core principle. And they just want to support anyone who wants to chest or breastfeed. And um, they do that by offering uh, information online on their website um, from a variety of topics like what is human milk and what makes it so good, baby health information, um, breast nipple pain, expressing and storing milk. So they'll just anything in the whole spectrum of breast and chest feeding. You can get um, written information and that comes in a variety of languages too, which is so wonderful in our diverse uh, communities. They also online offer a lending library, like a lending, a virtual lending library and a bookstore. But the coolest and very best and amazing thing about La Leche League is that they support human, they provide human support. So individual support, whether that is virtual, uh, online or via a phone call or uh, in person or through their meetings. And what the way that their organization works is um, if you look up your community, for example, I looked up Newmarket to find out that which is my community to see what was going on in the next few days. And it turns out they're having a, a free online breastfeeding class right now. <laughs> so sorry, <laughs> but you'll have to wait till next month <laughs> um, to go to their class. Or, and I think tomorrow there's a daytime meeting, which is an informal meeting, which they hold once a month, where a group of moms are brought together with a leader who is a, um, a mom or a dad, a parent that has breast or chest fed their child and has been accredited through the organization to share evidence-based information about breast and chest feeding. And you get together in a formal, informal setting and you share information um, sometimes there's a, a presentation and then it's really talking about what's happening and you all just breastfeed together. And I'm always encouraging um, my doula clients to try to reach out to this organization before you have your baby and go to one of these um, sessions, um, uh, both of you, you're both parents, and just see, see what breastfeeding is all about. Um, if you haven't decided and even if you have, uh, to just um, watch and uh, take in the information. There's as much information as you can get and visuals as you can get before you actually have that baby in your arms will be so helpful. And so this is a great resource to uh, all parents who are thinking of breast or chest feeding. So I will pass it on to the next doula. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. The I'm a postpartum doula with Helping Hands, and the um, resource that I'm going to talk about this evening is Early On Centers. Um, this is one of my favorite resources to share with families uh, um, because I think you cannot get an early enough start on knowing about free resources that are available to you in your community. Um, this is a government of Ontario funded program. There will be no cost to you at all. It is essentially a community center for children and young families. Um, it is geared towards families that have children of uh, zero to six years old. So from birth 
all the way to six years old. There are 400 locations throughout Ontario, plus 700 locations that are run out of um, community libraries, schools, parks, and other community centers. So what the Early On um, Center is about is they offer programs for parents, um, babies and toddlers and young children. One of their goals is to create preparedness or an environment that fosters preparedness in young children that um, may or may not be staying at home and get them ready for uh, either a daycare environment or a school environment, um, creating similar routines that you would find in a daycare or um, junior kindergarten environment. There's so many things that happen at early on centers. It's amazing. There's circle time, there's snacks, um, there's singing, reading, you know, there's always an ECE that's there um, with their expertise, which is incredible. Um, during the week, you'll find more infant geared programs. There will probably be options to have like uh, attend like a lactation consultant session. Sometimes they'll have, they'll be teaching like a baby massage class. There's lots and lots of programs. The goal overall is inclusiveness and uh, diversity of uh, families of all walks of life and orientation. Everyone is welcome here. And that is one of my favorite things about the early on. Um, one, I guess like the goal of the early on is to provide connections for families. Um, it's really, when you become a new parent, it can be an isolating experience. There's so many locations. If you start to attend these um, drop-ins, which essentially you can show up anytime between obviously the time that it is open, uh, you don't have to pay, you don't have to register. And there are so many in the GTA, there's likely one in your neighborhood. And so you'll be able to forge relationships with parents that are in a certain, in a small radius within you. And this is so crucial. Like you're going to be bumping into these people at parks um, down the line and just breaking that ice when you're having a small child is, is so important. So you know, may, may the funding never go for this. I am, I'm so um, happy that something like this exists in Ontario. Um, I'll pass it on to the next doula. Laura. Thanks, Jessica. Um, hi, yes, I'm Laura. I'm a birth and postpartum doula with Helping Hands. And today I wanted to tell you about a really great video resource. Um, the website, I should have done what Heidi did and wrote it down for you, but it is globalhealthmedia.org. Um, this website has some really clear, practical guidance in a variety of topics. They also come in multiple languages so that it's more accessible to more people. Um, I specifically wanted to talk about their breastfeeding videos um, sometimes it might feel like a lot is happening in the couple hours right after you meet your baby um, for that first time. And perhaps when you get home, you feel like you need a refresher or a reminder of some of the skills that you were shown at the hospital. Um, and every birth parent is different. Every baby is different. And so breastfeeding sometimes requires learning on both ends and that's okay. So with these videos, they are really great visuals and reminders of some of those essentials that you, um, so that you can have a better experience with your little one. Um, and with any video, you can watch it as many times as you need to, if that would be helpful. Um, I really like the video on, on how to attach baby to breast. Um, as well as the video on how to tell if if baby is is drinking versus just sucking. Um, and yes, so that's my short and sweet um, video resource, globalhealthmedia.org. And now I'll pass it on to Jordan to share another great resource. 
Hello. Thank you, Laura. Um, I'm a birth and postpartum doula with Helping Hands. And the resource that I wanted to talk with you all about today is called The Birth Partner. So it's a complete guide to childbirth for dads, partners, doulas, and uh, other labor companions. And I think that this is such a great resource and tool to add to your toolbox because all of the information provided is um, you know, extremely insightful and just very easy to digest. And I found that any questions or concerns or interests that I had had around um, giving birth or going into labor was all touched upon. Uh, so kind of just a brief overview of, you know, what this book will give you is knowledge of preparing for labor and knowing when it's begun. Uh, so normal labor and how to help with every step of the way. So things like uh, comfort measures, relaxation techniques, it goes into depth about different uh, interventions. It touches on the pros and cons of kind of all aspects of labor. And for the more visual learners, um, something that I found quite helpful is that it there are lots of diagrams in here. So things with just like, you know, different positions in early labor, active labor, uh, transition, when you're pushing, I found to be extremely helpful. And it also touches on basic newborn care after the birth, um, breastfeeding, bonding, and um, caring for and supporting the mother throughout the whole entire process. I also really like this book because it acts as a guide for support partners. So a lot of the times, um, you know, your support person may want to help and be a more active, play a more active role in your birth. They're just unsure of how to do so. So I think that this book really goes into depth and, and gives you some great tools to best support and show up for your person. Uh, so I will pass it on to the next tool now. Hi, everyone. Um, so tonight, I first I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Esther. I'm a birth and postpartum doula. Um, my favorite tool that I like to recommend to my clients is a website called evidence-based birth, um, evidencebasedbirth.com specifically. And the reason why this is an amazing website is because I have a lot of clients that ask me questions like um, how to make choices during their birth. So for example, what are the benefits of, um, you know, having an IV while I deliver? Uh, what are the risks of getting an epidural? What are the alternatives to certain things? So we have all these questions and we want to know clinical proven statistical research on it. And if you're like me and you want to see all the proof, this is an amazing website. They have podcasts if you just want to listen to it in the car. They have articles online that you can read. I believe they also teach some classes as well. That's something new that they recently added. Um, and it's an amazing tool. It can go into great depth um, in kind of showing you how to make the correct choices or your birth, because every birth is different and it's such a great area. You know, we have so many things that can change and so many um, possibilities that can happen during our birth. And we want to make the best choice for ourselves. Um, and as I said, like I have a lot of clients asking questions about uh, delayed cord clamping or um, vitamin K shots. So all of that information is on there. It's very, very extensive website. It's so phenomenal. Um, and I highly recommend that you look into it. And I'll pass it on to the next Dula. Hello, my name is Mandy, and I'm a postpartum doula. I want to talk tonight about the book called, or can you see it? It's called, yes, now, um, The Mother of All Baby Books, an all Canadian guide to your baby's first year. And it's a comprehensive guide that covers a wide range of topics relevant um, for new and expectant, expectant mothers. And at first, I want to tell you something about the author. Her name is Anne Douglas, and she's from Ontario. And that brings a unique Canadian perspective, perspective to the book um, in different areas when it comes to, for example, car seat, regula car seat regulations or um, how do I registrate my baby after birth, which is I find very helpful if you don't know how everything works out in Canada. And the content of the book is very diverse and covers a broad spectrum of topics. It's not just a manual and baby care. It goes into the emotional and physical changes you may experience, and it offers practical advice on um, baby's first year. It provides tips on how to take care of yourself during that, um, this period. And it goes through different milestones and um, 
for example, how to manage sleep schedules and um, yeah, it can help you if in many different areas where there are uncertainties and guides you through this new time. And one of the most valuable aspects of this book is um, its approach to postpartum issues. And the postpartum period can be very challenging. And here you have very a lot of information um, that can make a huge difference. Um, the book also addresses postpartum depression, a very important topic that is often not discussed enough, and it helps you to recognize the signs and how to seek help. Um, the book also includes a chapter about various childhood diseases, how to recognize them and what steps you can take. And um, very important to note is that the book is not a medical guide and should not replace professional medical advice. There is also a chapter on a huge chapter on baby proving. She goes through the whole, like every room of the house, and gives a guidance how what to watch out for to ensure um, everything is safe for your little one. And then the book continues with the introduction of solid foods, and it gives insights for parents um, in this new chapter, and it helps you transition trans to transition into the toddler years, how to balance work, and breastfeeding and parenthood in general and how to go into parenting with ease and confidence. So this book is not only a guide for baby's first year, but it also supports you in creating a nurturing and safe environment. And yeah, I find it's a very valuable resource and can be 